Oh, hi, I'm Machine Dana, and I've recorded this three times because the first time I forgot to press record, and the second time I pressed record, but I didn't have my microphone off mute. What an idiot. I hope you like this. I really hope you like this video. <laughs> so not too long ago, probably three or four months ago, I released a video all about how you should manage your adverts on Twitch. This is a really, really useful video. And by managing your adverts effectively on Twitch, you can literally increase the number of new viewers to your stream by 30%. Some people estimate it to be even more than that. But last week, Twitch released an update to their stream manager engine, which basically enabled you to have a lot more automation of the adverts and how they are run on your channel. So this is going to be a really short video on what that looks like, how you should manage it, and we'll be covering some of the different options that are now available to you. If you find it useful, hit the like, don't forget to subscribe, and let's go. Okay, so for the third time for me, but for the first time for you, I'm here in my stream manager. The settings are located within settings and affiliate, but there's another way that you can quickly get to this. If you're going to run adverts automatically on your Twitch channel, you can just move one of the columns so that it pops out this section here to edit the layout of your profile. And you've got this new thing called ads manager. It'll be just sat under here somewhere. So you need to drag that into a location that suits you. And this is what it will look like. Now, what this is, is basically a manual button that you can press in line with the configurations that you've made. And it's also a countdown to when the advert's about to run automatically. So you've got like an, a quick visual indicator of what the hell's going on. I'm surprised they've not made this purple and yellow. Doesn't make sense to me, but whatever. The quick way to get to the editing instead of going to the affiliate section is to click the pencil icon here and you're straight into the ads manager. But in case you want to go through the settings route, if you click on settings here and scroll to the bottom on affiliate, it's at the bottom here. So first of all, you'll need to enable this to activate your schedule to automatically run the advert on your channel. I'm going to run through some of these settings, but if you want to manage this all manually, I would recommend the video that I've already made above. This just shows you how you can manage it manually, but also keep pre-rolls off. The only thing I'm covering today is how to automate that process. This just gives me a visual indicator of what I've actually set up, but we'll get into the detail of it. First of all, let's talk about pre-roll adverts. So pre-roll adverts basically are like the minimum amount of adverts that need to be run on your channel to avoid any new viewer coming to your channel and then immediately being served up an ad. Advert. This is Twitch's way of basically ensuring that every single channel has a minimum level of adverts. Clearly, that's not going to be a very good viewing experience for your viewers. And if it's a new viewer, approximately one in every three of those won't even wait for the advert to finish. They will just leave to another channel. So as you can imagine, pre-roll adverts themselves are quite damaging in terms of new viewer growth. So you can choose to keep pre-roll adverts on your channel, even if you want to automate other adverts as well. But you are doing that at the detriment of potential potentially losing new viewers, but you will get more money, but that money won't be very much because Twitch is notoriously bad in terms of their ad revenue. But maybe this will improve it. I don't know. I'm literally having an argument with myself right now. <laughs> so I would strongly recommend disabling your pre-roll adverts unless you're XQC, in which case leave them on because you're going to earn a lot, lot more money. Pre-roll notifications. So this enables dashboard notifications and to be alerted when pre-roll adverts are enabled or disabled. If you didn't know what that is, if we just quickly go onto the stream manager, there's this section up here, which is a pre-roll countdown. And all this does is when you've run an advert, it will give you a certain amount of time in the bank where you won't have pre-rolls so people can come to your channel brand new and they will not be served an advert but what you can get is a notification that notifies you there'll literally be a notification that pops up and says hey we're going to be having pre-roll adverts here now because you've not run enough adverts so by enabling this toggle you will get those notifications but you basically won't need those anymore if you're managing them automatically but there's no harm in leaving that on now if you didn't know what stream display adverts are I'll just click into this article all this is little banners that will appear underneath the player now those adverts do not sell for as as much as the video advertisements that Twitch give to their advertisers or sell to their advertisers. They don't give them, they get sold. Okay. So if you enable them, you will see a slight increase in your advertising revenue, but it will be negligible because these are few and far between. Not as many advertisers go for those banners and also they are much cheaper. However, as you can see, the viewing experience isn't that strongly impacted. Now we're going to click into Ads Manager here. This will just allow me to customize all of the automated adverts on my Twitch channel. We've got three main components. We've got ad spacing, ad length, and first ad delay. I'm going to quickly deal with first ad delay here. All this is, is when you hit the go live button, 
how much of a delay there is before the first advert will be run on your channel. Now, most people tend to have a starting soon screen, in which case that's normally a pretty good time to run an advert to ensure you've got enough adverts in the bank to get rid of the pre-rolls because it's just a static screen of whatever you've got for your starting soon. Now, I've noticed that sometimes when you manually run an advert within the first minute, it doesn't actually run the advert. It will error. So for me, I'm going to set this to two minutes because I do have a starting soon screen. Now, if you don't have a starting soon screen and the first couple of minutes or the first five to 10 minutes of your stream are really important parts of your stream, then clearly you don't want to have the delay there. You probably want to be moving it about 10 minutes in. Now we've got ad spacing and ad length, but first I'm going to talk a little bit about ad density. Now previously, ad density was manually controlled by you or automatically by Twitch. You had no real way of automating it yourself. Now you can automate how many adverts in terms of quantity and density you serve up to your viewers. Now ad density is basically just the quantity of adverts in time that you serve up to your viewers within a one hour period. Now on Twitch, the minimum to get rid of pre-rolls, so to mean that there are not going to be new adverts every single time someone new comes to your stream they see an advert straight away you need to have at least three minutes of adverts per hour on your channel now you can actually have less i can even have it so there's only 30 seconds of adverts per hour that's the minimum density that you can have and the maximum density you can have is as much as 22.5 minutes per hour i mean for me that's probably a good thing because my viewers use the adverts as a break for my content <laughs> But obviously having 22.5 minutes of adverts for every one hour of content of yours is not going to be a great viewing experience. So you do need to strike a good balance here between not being a greedy person uh, with advertising revenue, getting the growth and also, you know, just making sure that you're hitting the minimums and things like that. So, so this ad density will basically calculate it based on how frequently, so the ad spacing and how long the adverts are, and it will just literally multiply them together. So if you've got one advert in the hour that's three minutes long, it will be three minutes. That's the ad density. So as an example here, if you've got a three minute advert run every hour, I've got a three minute density. Now, given that the absolute minimum advertising that you need to run on Twitch to get rid of those horrible pre run adverts is three minutes per hour so five percent and by the way five percent probably seems like a lot but it's about comparable to what youtube have and it's much much better than what you see in traditional media like tv in tv it's like 15 to 20 percent adverts so i'd strongly recommend that you enable at least three minutes of adverts but probably not much more than four or five minutes it's personal preference if you've got a much bigger audience if you're watching this and you're thinking i could actually make quite a lot of extra money here then you could probably push that to five or six minutes it might not impact your channel depending on how loyal your viewers are so really now the trade-off is between how frequently we want the adverts to run and how long we want the adverts to be. Now, my personal opinion is, and it, again, it is only personal opinion here, the very interruption of having an advert is more impacting than the actual duration of the advert itself. So I think more viewers are going to be put off by how frequently the adverts are run to the length of the advert, if that makes sense. Where I'm going with that is if I run a, a 60 second advert or a 90 second advert, I don't think viewers are going to be too put off by that. But if I'm running like a 30 second advert frequently, I think that's going to be more off putting really all we're doing here is choosing like the lesser of two evils so for me personally i'm going to go with one advert every 30 minutes and i'm going to make that advert a one minute and 30 seconds long advert 90 seconds so that means i'm hitting the minimum three minutes to get rid of pre-rolls but my views are only getting an advert every 30 minutes now i'm probably going to experiment with running an advert every 20 minutes and it being every one minute just to see if that impacts how many new followers i get and the retention of viewers but i'm definitely going to be starting with 30 minutes and one minute and 30 seconds if you've got a larger audience or you want to squeeze out a little bit of extra pennies from your viewers, you could run a longer advert, for example, three minute adverts and then you'll get six minutes per hour it's still relatively reasonable in line with traditional media but it's still a lot for twitch i would say six minutes per hour is a lot for twitch that's 10 percent of the time so just play around with these now you can you can run them really frequently for example if i want to run one every 15 minutes and make it 30 seconds long but when i do that it's not hitting the minimum here to get rid of pre-rolls so i'd have to make that a minute but then we're a minute above the minimum so it's completely up to you what you do here now we've got two other settings here so we've got a heads up time all this is when you toggle this on, you can define 5, 10, 15 or 20 minutes before these automated adverts are going to run. There'll be like a notification and you've got the option to snooze the advert for longer. And you just use that only in instances where perhaps the content's really, really intensive or really important or there's something really cool going on. You may just want to snooze the advert so that nobody sees adverts during a key bit of content. And it's really good that Twitch have allowed that to actually happen. So for me, I think a five minute notification before the advert's about to play is more than enough. But if you don't want 
want the notifications at all, you can simply just toggle this off. Now we've got ad scheduler. So this activates the schedule to run the ads on your channel. So all these configurations, you can simply turn them off if you want and go back to manually running the adverts or let Twitch do that for you. We can turn them on and this will activate. If you've not got the advertising manager widget on your stream manager, you'll get a pop up here that says, hey, you need to add the ads manager to your stream manager. Because I've already got it on my stream manager, I'm not getting that pop up, but it's just a pre warning for you. Make sure you save changes there. Go to stream manager. I can see I've got my ads manager here. I can manually run adverts if I want to with this and I still have the quick actions and I can always go back and edit those automatic settings there as well. Now what will happen is this will gradually move along as it gets closer to the advert. You'll get a notification in line with the settings that you've set up. And yeah, it's tailored to your liking and your viewers and your preferences, but it's a little bit more automated than it used to be. You don't have to remember. It's really good that Twitch has added this. I would argue it's 10 years too late, but hey, Twitch will do Twitch. It's just how they are. So that was the new automated adverts from Twitch. It's really good that they're actually allowing people to automate this because so many people don't run ads and it means that pre-rolls are appearing on people's channels. That's a big problem because it means people bounce away before they even get to see the content of the live streaming content. So this just enables people to set it up and forget about it. So it's a fire and forget from Twitch. So it's about time they did something good for the community, right? Have a nice day.